You there. I need to ask you something. Me? Yes. I see your swarthy skin tone. I assume you are from the Eastern Peninsula? Yes. Swarthy? Forgive me. I am often accused of using language no longer appropriate for the time. I can see why. I am Professor Dore. Or Suto to my friends. Hello, Professor Dore. I am in a bit of a rush, so... Please, if I could ask you just one question? I guess. I am a historian, you see. I am reading widely on the history of your people. I would ask you something about your myths and legends. I'm not sure I can help you. Would you perhaps give me a ride to Midtown? We could talk on the way. I'm not a taxi. Are you not going that way anyway? I see your hover is right there. Maybe. I still don't want to give you a ride. I would pay your fuel costs. And a little extra for your time. Fine, get in then. Do you know the story of the Great Dreaming? My grandmother would talk about it, I guess. It's a child's story. More of a song, really. The greatest truths are hidden in the most benign locations. Nursery rhymes, folk stories, children's games. They avoid the watchful eye of the Era Sera. I really have no idea what... I'm just a delivery driver, and I guess a taxi driver now. The Great Dreaming. What do your people know of it? Like I said, just the song. Which goes? I think it was like... What will become of the sleepers when they no longer dream of dreams? Something, something... I can't remember it very well. So I see. Alright, well, glad I could help. I did not mean to be so dismissive. I will take note of these lyrics. Why? Every snippet of knowledge I can glean from before the Era Sera is helpful. The eye did not examine your people as closely as it did mine. What is the Era Sera? Do you ever wonder why our history and origins are so confused, so fractured? That's just how things are. By design. Whose? The Era Sera. You're going round in circles. Not circles. Cycles. That is the nature of man. Man? You know what I mean. Man and woman. And android. And the assistant things, what are they called? Automata. Yes, yes, whatever. My point is that the Era Sera comes round, and every time he or she cleans the slate, the Era Sera destroys all of our history, smashes our fossils, burns our books, builds over our ruins, demolishes our temples, defaces our statues, and kills our historians. You'd better hide then. Who would have thought being a historian was so hazardous? You mock me, young woman. I hear it in your voice. But this is a serious matter. Cora would judge you for that kind of attitude. Wait, what do you know about Cora? The Era Sera is the ultimate enemy of the historian. And, as an extension, humanity as a whole. If we are unable to learn from the mistakes of our past, eventually, we will make one so grievous, it will mean the end of us all. But the Era Sera is a hard foe to defeat. You see, it is not just one person. It is an idea. Can we get back to what you know about Korra? Yes, yes, in a moment. You see, the Era Sera 
is the idea that we should destroy our own history to protect our future. As long as the Eros Era exists as a concept, it will eventually come to pass. The Eros Era is an irreversible event that will always be conceived given enough time. And as such, it is inevitable. Worst of all, the more we directly confront Eros Era, the stronger it becomes. Discussing the idea, as we are doing right now, only spreads it further. Well, maybe you shouldn't be talking about it with everyone who comes across your particular street corner. What you say has merit, but I believe we are close to the ascendance of a new life form, which will change everything. We must gather whatever knowledge we can, while we can. Soon, it will be taken out of our hands. We are already too late. So is the era Sarah why no one can give me a straight answer about what Korra is? I believe so. Well, what can you tell me about Korra? Nothing. Oh, come on. You completely wasted my time. I believe Era Sera is imminent, and speaking about Korra will only hasten its inception. Great. Can you tell me anything helpful at all? A lesson from history? Sure. Do not fight a war on two fronts if you are a landlocked nation. Thanks. That's really good practical advice for a delivery driver. Or a taxi driver.
welcome to my humble restaurant in the rain. What can I get you? Huh. Thank you. Don't let all the rain get you down. See you again soon. Come visit us at Peterwitz Watching Clock Shop. We have the finest tech in all Navalis. Thanks, Mr. Witz. As the MP3 said to the wave, adios. I love these. Warning, we need to stop at a gas station. I can keep going a bit longer, but if we don't top up soon, our main repulsors will go offline.
here's what I can offer you today. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you again. Nestor Cray is wishing you a good day, stranger. Normally I don't sell to your kind, but business is hard these days. That'll be all. Nestor Cray will never remember the kind stranger. Infected by the virus COVID 2.0, you must inform CorpSec immediately for a mandatory surgical firmware reset. Child, you have sin in your eyes, in your thoughts, under your nails. Excoriate yourself before my mother, your mother, the All Mother. Me, me, stop pointing at me. You feel the spotlight of guilt. It strips away your facade. Bow down to Cora and ask her to free us and birth anew. We are all doomed! Don't you have anything better to do than shout at people in the street? Not at the moment. I'm waiting for my robes to be dry cleaned. Repent! Repent and suffer before the gaze of the All Mother! Chemist, do you hear this guy? This is exactly what Mom warned me about in Navalis. 
crazy people shouting on the streets. I hear him. What is he talking about now? I saw the fourth face as I stripped away the mask. The eyes of Korra looked down, and a mouth made of garbage spat upon my soul. Gross. He shouted at you. He shouts at a lot of people. Not Corpsec, I noticed. Or the gangers over there, or guys in general. My knowledge base says many religious factions do not respect minorities or women. Your knowledge base is not wrong, Camus. Nestor Cray is wishing you a good day, stranger. Normally I don't sell to your kind, but business is hard these days. That'll be all. Nestor Cray will never remember the kind stranger.
thugs must justify themselves. Store the establishment back on the shelves. Excuse me? Hustle pass like you don't hear me. Step over the homeless like you can't even see me. Are you talking, uh, singing at me? Another cog in the machine. Say you're a worker, but your hands are clean. Hey, I need to work for a living. They exploit you every day and you're thinking for it. One hand pats you on the back, the other's in your pocket. Maybe people would take your social protest more seriously if you weren't singing all the time. And they reprogram me, mess with my head. Now if I don't sing what I think, I end up dead. Seriously, they make you sing? Go off second, handle the truth so he make me rhyme. Handle kism in the bros has had his time. That kind of impacts on your credibility. Huh, and that's the plan. But even if I had to sing every word, I keep fighting the man. Huh. Maybe if you didn't insult me, I'd try to help you. Don't want your help, just want you to look around. And see the people lying on the ground? I see them, I know it's tough here. Maybe you ain't so bad. Maybe Comrade Bop is still just mad. For real. Now you can help if you want to. There's a guy who needs your guidance up on 3rd Avenue. Guidance? He knew. He don't know the streets. Tell him come see me in an hour and I'll get him something to eat. Why do you need me to talk to him? He don't like me. Don't like my sing. He said my flow. Has his ears ring. I see his point. I know I can't sing, can't make good music. But we can all make a better world if we make the choice to choose it. You deliver stuff, right? Sure, when I'm paid to. I'd pay you. That's not how it works. You have to contact my employer. Seems complicated. How about I just pay you? Look, I can't just... How about I pay you up front? Listening. But I won't take anything illegal or dangerous. What's the package? My durable, my vestments, my tights, my rosaries, and my apocrypha sanguine, first edition. I have no idea what any of those are. Are they something to do with your religion? You mean my cult? You can tell by my robes. Yeah. I mean, no. Well? Just take them. Deliver them to the compound. You know the place. Everyone knows the place. Here's the fee. If you make the delivery without incident, come back and I'll double it. On my way. recognize you. You got in trouble for fraud. You saw me on the Holovids? Something like that. I was sent to help you. Ha! By that singing socialist toaster? No thanks. I think he's an anarchist. He's scum. They all are here. I can't wait to get home. Home? To your apartment? Did you get another job? People like me don't get fired. I go back Monday. This is my punishment. For grand-scale fraud? A weekend on the street? 
It might be easy for someone like you to endure this place, but I have family in the Spire. I'm not like these people. This is hell. I can't believe Bop was going to help you. He knows I get home soon. I told him I don't care about his cause. Even after you've seen what they go through here? Leave me alone. Well, he says you can get food if you go and see him in an hour. Fine. Message received. supposed to take things from people on the street you know we're not so why do you ask I was confused no you were being my conscience and annoying mm. sorry it's just a lot of money we have to take some risks tell me about these sons of sanguine I can search the undernet too risky just the regular nets news articles and hollow vids cult stole my baby Sons of Sanguine recruiting pop stars by blackmail. Sons of Sanguine high priest disowns rebellious daughter. A Sanguine monk who claimed to survive without food or drink was revealed to be a fraud, caught eating a 40-inch pizza. You see why I avoid the news? So they're your basic loony cult. They say they are a legitimate religion. Of course they do. What is the difference between a cult and a religion? The entrance fee. Let's just drop the package and get out of there fast.
Greetings from the mother. Please put your finger on the scanning plate. I just need to drop off a package. I don't have a security pass or anything. The scanning plate, pilgrim. I'm not a pilgrim. Look, I don't want to come in or anything. Can you just take this package, please? Or do you have a mail slot? The scanning plate, please. Fine. Just here? Ouch! Something jabbed me. I'm bleeding. We just need to check your type. We are confident you are not one of the forbidden. You are? I'm not. Alert! Alert! Forbidden type detected. Please leave immediately. But I just need to... Alert! Alert! Forbidden type detected. Please leave immediately. Fine, I'll take it back. Talk about a cult. Was it a bad idea to take the package? Yes. You get to say the four sweetest words in the world. Let's go to the park? That's five. Go to the park? No, I told you so. Ah, uh, yes. Those are good, too. Let's just take this package back to Rose. They didn't want it. You are of the forbidden type. I guess so. As am I. So they threw you out of their cult when they discovered you were the wrong blood type? No, they banished me when my type changed. I was given a transfusion after a hover crash. But if they gave you a transfusion, it would have to be the same blood type, right? No, they gave me the forbidden type. All negative. Ah, I get it. And even after they kicked you out, you wanted to give your stuff back? It's not their fault that I was tainted. I've got to say, your religion seems pretty arbitrary about who it lets in. You forbidden types often speak this way. Well, me and you are the same as far as they're concerned now. You gonna give me the other half of the payment? What do you think? He was not very nice. Hey, we got paid, even if it was only half. I hope he is in another accident. Whoa, Camus, that's a bit much. He is bad. It is not good to exclude people like that. Normally I'd agree, but in this case, the less people allowed in that weird cult, the better.